Throughout history, our planet has been through multiple ice ages and fully covered in ice at least twice. From the poles to the equator, the Earth was a giant snowball at least several times. Today, the landscape has transformed, the ice is starting to rapidly melt, and scientists are wondering what secrets could be concealed beneath this frozen tundra. This is the second largest ice sheet on Earth, with an impressive thickness of nearly 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers, covering 80% of the area of Greenland. Here, rapid glacier-like Jakobshav move at an astonishing 150 feet, 45 meters, per day, reshaping the landscape, while coastal waters create icebergs towering 300 feet, 90 meters, about the height of the Statue of Liberty. But these things are not what makes the island unique. To this day, the frozen surface hides all kinds of secrets. But scientists have already started uncovering some of them, and what they found was difficult to predict. Although Greenland is 836,000 square miles 2.17 million square kilometers, over three times the size of Texas, its total population is just 56,000 people, the lowest population density in the world. Frigid temperatures make the majority of the island uninhabitable. But along the southwest coast, the warming effect of the Gulf Stream results in moderate temperatures, creating a comfortable habitat. That's where the third of the population resides. In the central part of Greenland, temperatures remain below zero at all times. The snow there never melts, gradually accumulating instead. When new snow falls on the Greenland ice sheet, it's initially light and fluffy, with a density about 50 to 70 kilograms per cubic meter. As it gets covered with new layers, all this weight compresses the layers below, increasing their density. At a depth of over 260 feet, 80 meters, bubbles within the snow cannot compress any further, and snow solidifies into glacier ice. In total, there's 695,000 cubic miles, 2.9 million cubic kilometers, of ice in Greenland, which is thought to have been there for hundreds of thousands to millions of years. But Greenland wasn't always frozen. Beneath its icy cover lies a colossal rocky island that was once a flourishing haven where life thrived amidst valleys, rivers, and numerous lakes. Even today, not all of Greenland is ice-covered. Moving to the southernmost reaches of Greenland, there's the Chingua Valley, the only forested area on the island. As temperatures continue to rise, it's possible that this green patch of land will trigger the spread of vegetation to other parts of the island, gradually making it green again. In 1966, U.S. military scientists drilled through nearly a mile of ice in northwestern Greenland, discovering a once green past. They found twigs, leaves, and unique, perfectly preserved fossil plants. Scientists described their state as freeze-dried. If you pour some water on them, they unfurl, looking almost as if they were frozen just yesterday. About 400,000 years ago, parts of Greenland had spruce forests and tundra, a flat, cold, and windy area without trees, but with resilient low-lying plants. Today, all this serves as a time capsule, allowing us to peek into Greenland's ancient ecosystems. Greenland's thick ice sheet acts as an insulator, the ground beneath remains shielded from the frigid temperatures and winds above. Meanwhile, the Earth's internal heat warms the ground from below. In some areas, the ice sheet is firmly attached to frozen ground, providing stability. But closer to the edges of the ice sheet, where it's thinner, the base has thawed, and the ice is laying over a moist soil. If there's enough water beneath, it can make the ice flow faster. And this more rapid flow rate can potentially accelerate melting rate. Currently, the ice sheet in Greenland melts away at a rate of over 200 billion tons per year, enough to fill almost 91 million Olympic swimming pools which hold 660,430 gallons of water each. And if it melts entirely, the global sea level will rise approximately 23 feet, 7 meters, causing devastating damage to millions of people who live along the world's coasts. According to a study made in 2019, around 680 million people reside in low-lying coastal regions. By 2050, this number could surpass well over a billion. Right now, Greenland loses more ice than it accumulates. Although, it will probably take a long time for all the ice to melt. The staggering magnitude of the ice sheet is hard to grasp, its weight has built so much pressure that it led to a depression in the central part of the island 1,000 feet, 300 meters, below sea level. 
and the same thing happened about 20,000 years ago a colossal weight pushed parts of earth lower into the crust. Ice sheets were all over the world, Scandinavia, the Arctic, and a large part of the USA and Canada were all covered in ice. And currently, something interesting happens to these areas. Think of our planet's surface as a massive, shape memory mattress. Press down on it, and it'll compress, but once you remove the pressure, it'll slowly start going back to its initial form. In a similar way, as ice sheets shrink, the land under the ice rises, while the neighboring territories are just by sinking. This process is very slow, and some regions are still recovering, while others like the United States East Coast will continue sinking for thousands of years. Compared to other parts of the Earth, regions like these are at a much higher risk of higher sea levels. Today, Greenland is anything but green. But scientists have already been able to have a look underneath its ice cover, revealing what the island's been hiding for centuries. In 2013, a new canyon was discovered. It's over 460 miles, 750 kilometers, long, 6 miles, 10 kilometers, wide, and about 2,600 feet, 800 meters, deep. This makes it more than one and a half times longer than the Grand Canyon in Arizona, 277 miles 446 kilometers. Up to this date, it's the longest canyon ever found on Earth. Although you can't see it just yet, the canyon is buried beneath billions of tons of ice. The subglacial canyon was probably once the channel of a massive river, created by frequent flood events that pushed water through the bedrock some two million years ago. And it can still carry melted water deep below the ice sheet and into the sea. Once, Greenland even had a massive lake, covering an area, 2,700 square miles 7,000 square kilometers, as large as Rhode Island and Delaware combined. It drew water from at least 18 streams, reaching depths of 800 feet, 250 meters. Today, the ancient lake is a depression filled with sediment, holding secrets of a time when it was water, instead of ice, that shaped Greenland's landscape. Decades of ice-penetrating radar surveys revealed a network of mountain ranges, extending thousands of meters above sea level. Their sharp ridges and deep valleys affect the movement of the massive ice sheet above, which takes on the shape of the hidden mountainous terrain. And then, there are submerged fjords, hundreds to over a thousand meters deep channels carved by the glacial forces. Greenland's glacier are constantly moving, and how and where they go depends on the subglacial mountains that act like obstacles. They guide the flow of the melting ice, changing its speed and direction. And fjords are like pathways that icebergs follow to escape into the ocean. The island's icy veil doesn't only hide a mysterious past, but also a rich reservoir of natural resources. Geological surveys suggest the presence of rare earth elements and precious metals. Elements found in Greenland's bedrock, such as neodymium, dysprosium, and europium are crucial in the production of modern electronics, renewable energy technologies, and different high-tech applications. The island's subglacial terrain could also harbor precious metals, such as gold, silver, and platinum. But also, there's water, and a lot of it. Locked within the vast expanses of the Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets, it holds more than 68% of the Earth's freshwater supply. Greenland's unique geological features hold massive potential for geothermal energy development, a sustainable alternative to traditional energy sources. The idea is to harness heat from Earth's interior that escapes to the surface. The process is known as heat flow, and the area along Greenland's west coast shows heat flow three times higher than the island's average. Unlike fossil fuels, geothermal power generation produces minimal greenhouse gas emissions. Perhaps, one day, Greenland will be humanity's ticket to a carbon-free lifetime. All this makes Greenland a treasure trove of valuable resources. But it's also a place where Mother Nature reveals just how creative it can be. In 2010, scientists stumbled across peculiar formations beneath the Greenland ice sheet. At first, they thought these might be ghost mountains, like those found in Antarctica. But as it turned out later, they were wrong. Known as jelly roll sculptures, they are icy formations, height, 3,000 feet 900 meters thickness, 3,300 feet 1,000 meters, as big as Manhattan's skyscrapers, and there are dozens of them in Greenland. Just imagine how vast the space between the island's icy cover and its bedrock should be to fit something this massive. 
The gigantic features are made of an unusual ice, it doesn't consist of layers, but is rather twisted or rolled, and it can be as old as 120,000 years. Using radar imaging, researchers discovered that jelly roll sculptures can be found just 0.6 miles, 1 kilometer, below Greenland's white landscape. The island was long considered like a layered cake, but one that's made of snow. Although as you go deeper, peeling off layer after layer, at some point, they are no longer flat. The ice down there looks more like it's been bent or folded several times. Now, there's a lot of science behind how it happens, but in simple terms, ice grows from the bottom up when the ice sheet melts and refreezes. It's somewhat like building a sand castle, the wet sand you pour solidifies at the base, adding substance to the lower layers. Similarly, the refrozen ice adds to the layers, creating a complex, folded structure beneath the seemingly flat surface that's been forming for hundreds or even thousands of years. But deep below the mighty ice sheet, there's something much, much older. Back when Greenland was still a temperate rainforest, the island was struck by an asteroid 0.9 miles across, 1.5 kilometers. The impact was probably millions of times more powerful than an atomic bomb enough to cause earthquakes of magnitude 9 and massive wildfires. Luckily, it all happened after the dinosaurs had already gone extinct, and long before the first humans. The asteroid left behind what's known today as a 19-mile, 31-kilometer, wide Hiawatha crater, which is currently sitting below 3,000 feet, 900 meters, of ice. Discovered in 2018, its location played a significant role. The crater is lying under the northwestern edge of the ice sheet, the flowing stream from below the sheet contains sediments that suggested they were once exposed to rapid and extreme heating. By studying sand grains, researchers determined just how long ago the impact took place a mind-blowing 58 million years ago. Greenland stands as one of the Earth's most extraordinary landscapes, guarding the mysteries of our planet's past. We have barely scratched the surface of this barren terrain, but in years to come, countless studies will be conducted. And who knows what other secrets may lie dormant beneath the vast expanse of ice, waiting to be unveiled. What secrets might this almost alien expanse of land hide? Clues to our planet's future, extraordinary species of animals, or even a long-lost civilization? Let us know in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more thrilling discoveries about the fascinating world we live in, and thanks for watching.